O glorious Saint Michael, Prince of the heavenly hosts, defend us in battle against the powers of darkness. With your mighty sword, protect our souls from evil and guard us from the snares of the enemy. Strengthen our faith in times of trial, guide us in truth and righteousness, and help us stand firm against temptation. Be our shield in moments of fear, our light in times of darkness. Through your intercession, may we find refuge in the mercy of God and trust in His divine plan until we are brought to eternal victory with Christ. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I come to you with a grave and urgent message. Listen well, for these words are not my own. They come from heaven above, an urgent message by the Lord Almighty to deliver to His people in this hour of need. Heed them, for the time of great trial is upon you. The trumpet of warning sounds, and the forces of heaven stand ready. You must open your hearts, prepare your souls, and take shelter in the grace of God. For what is to come will shake the very foundations of the earth. I come to you by divine command, beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Time is passing quickly. The divinity has allowed it. There are so many signs before you, signs that should lead you to open your eyes so that you may be prepared. The hour is late, and the world teeters on the brink of a catastrophic war unlike any in human history. A war that will not be confined to Europe, as many believe, but will engulf the whole world. I come to you now to warn you of this imminent danger. A war that is the consequence of mankind's rebellion against God's laws. The earth is groaning under the weight of sin, and now judgment draws near. Children of the Most High, heed my words. The Third World War is coming, and it will not be contained. The forces of darkness are stirring, and the dragon from the east, Russia, is preparing to unleash its fury upon the nations. What you see now in Ukraine is but the beginning. The West, in its pride and folly, has stoked the fires of this conflict, thinking it can control the flames. But I tell you, this war will burn beyond the borders of Europe. It will sweep across the globe, leaving devastation in its wake. Blood will run in the streets of cities once thought untouchable. The skies will rain fire upon the nations, and the cries of the innocent will echo in the heavens. America, too, will feel the weight of this war. No land will be spared. This is the war that has been foretold, the war that humanity has brought upon itself by abandoning the ways of God. Millions will perish, the nations will be torn asunder, and the world will tremble as the great powers clash. Yet still, many are blind to the signs, deaf to the warnings that have been given through the ages. To the leaders of the nations I speak directly, you are playing with fire. The weapons you have created in your pride, the alliances you have formed, the strategies you believe will protect you, none of these will save you from the judgment that is to come. You have provoked the bear, and soon, the full force of its wrath will be unleashed. Russia, emboldened by its victories, will strike with fury. The West will be drawn into this war, and the flames will spread across the world. Moscow will fall under a great darkness. The streets of this great city will witness unspeakable carnage. But do not think that this darkness will remain in the east. The fires of war will leap across the oceans, consuming the lands of the west as well. Washington, London, Paris, all will feel the bite of war. The devastation will be beyond what any can imagine. The conflict will not be limited to Europe. The Middle East will become a cauldron of war. Israel, surrounded by enemies, will stand at the center of this conflict. Nations will rise against it, seeking its destruction. But I tell you this, the Lord has not forgotten His chosen people. In the midst of this great trial, He will defend those who remain faithful to Him. But the suffering will be great, and many will fall. China, too, will be drawn into this war. The eastern dragon will stretch its claws across the globe, seeking to expand its dominion. Alliances will crumble, and nations will fall into chaos. 
the balance of power will shift as nuclear fire is unleashed. The devastation will be unimaginable. Entire cities will be wiped from the face of the earth, and the world will be plunged into a darkness it has not seen since the beginning of time. Beloved children, understand this. The war that is coming is not merely the result of political tensions or military ambitions. It is the consequence of sin. The world has turned its back on God, and now it will reap the fruits of its rebellion. The moral decay, the abandonment of truth, the rise of selfishness, and the rejection of God's laws have led humanity to this point. This war is a manifestation of humanity's rejection of divine order. The sins of the nations have risen like a stench before the throne of God. The blood of the innocent cries out for justice. The unborn, the oppressed, the persecuted, all their suffering has reached the heavens. The time of mercy is ending, and the time of judgment is beginning. This war is a purifying fire. The Lord is allowing it to unfold so that humanity may be brought to its knees in repentance. Only through this great trial will the world be purified and made ready for the coming of the kingdom of God. Yet, even in the midst of this great darkness, there is hope. Do not be afraid, for the Lord is with you. The trials you will face are not without purpose. The Immaculate Heart of Mary will triumph. This war, terrible as it may be, is but a step toward the ultimate victory of Christ. The forces of darkness will be defeated, and the kingdom of God will be established on earth. But you, children of God, must prepare yourselves now. Repent and turn to the Lord with all your heart. The time is short, and the hour of decision is upon you. Cling to the sacraments, for they are your strength in these dark times. Pray, fast, and offer sacrifices, for the prayers of the faithful will mitigate the severity of the coming trials. Seek refuge in the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary, for they are your safe harbor in this storm. To every soul who hears this message, the time to act is now. You cannot stop the war that is coming, but you can prepare your soul. Be vigilant, be watchful, and be ready. The world will soon be plunged into chaos, but those who remain faithful to God will find refuge in His grace. Gather your families, strengthen them in faith, and teach your children the ways of the Lord. The days ahead will test the hearts of all, but those who trust in God will not be forsaken. Do not fear the coming trials, but place your trust in the Lord's plan, for it is perfect. I, St. Michael the Archangel, guardian of the church and defender of the faithful, stand ready to lead the armies of heaven in this battle. But you must do your part. Put on the armor of God and stand firm in the faith. The victory is assured for those who remain faithful. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and may His grace strengthen you in the days to come. I will be with you in the battle.